Hello. Let's do away with the formalities and let me remain for you an unknown person for as long as possible. As Shakespeare said, what's there in a name? Today, I will narrate a little incident from my life. The incident might seem insignificant to you, but it did change my notions about the world. The world has more evil than good, and we only realize it after we get hurt. Our lives are filled with many such instances, but few remain in our memory till death. Let me tell you a bit about the city I live in. The city is much like the one any of you live in, though mercy is something which the city lacks. Robberies are an everyday affair and the menace seems to be growing only. Police diaries are being filled with murder reports, but very few culprits are put behind the bars. And finally, denims with zipped pockets are in demand due to the constant fear of pickpockets. I stayed in that city in a small dingy room. It would hardly catch a man's attention. The room only contained my bare necessities, the things I could afford. My work required me to stay awake through the night. Therefore, I would sleep the whole day. I only used the room to sleep and prepare myself for work. This would also allow me to not spend on morning tea and lunch. I would get ready for work by 6 in the evening as it would take me an hour to reach my workplace by walk. Madam, it's already 7. The office closes at 6. Please allow me in. My friend walks in there. I know he's inside. I'm afraid you have to call him outside. Do I look like a liar? Don't you trust me? No, no. I'm not calling you a liar or anything. I'm just telling you to tell his name and I will go and check. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, I have his visiting card. Please go and call him. Ah, hello sir, security calling. There's a friend of yours waiting outside. Shall I let her in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show her the way in. I often find people waiting outside my house when I come back from work. There is a very simple reason for it. Government officers accept only applications written in English, despite the fact that not many people know how to read or write in English. <laughs> this strange situation does help me earn a few extra bucks. I help them to fill up the addresses in English and they pay me a little commission in return. Let's come back to that little incident I promised to narrate you. One day, while having a look at my wallet, I realized that I had enough money to buy myself a rather luxurious dinner. I had the habit of saving up some amount of my earnings. I usually had my Sundays off. Therefore, I decided to finally take the plunge and buy myself a good dinner. I also borrowed a coat from my friend 
to make me feel a part of that crowd. I counted my savings again before I left. Anything else, sir? Just get me the bill. Oh, don't worry, sir. Your bill, I will get it here. It was right at that moment. I realized that I did not have my wallet with me. I frantically searched for it and checked all my pockets in panic. Sir, is everything all right? I think somebody pickpocketed me and took my wallet. Oh. Shall I call my boss and maybe if he can help you. Yeah. Excuse me. What is the matter? I think somebody pickpocketed me and took my wallet. See you, mister. This is an old trick. It won't work here. I'm telling you, either pay the whole bill or I will call my security and they will beat you to pulp. Just just take my coat. I will get my money from somewhere. Your coat. Okay, remove it. Okay, remove it. I began sweating heavily and almost in an instant digested all that I had eaten. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, where are you going? Remove your shirt also. Your shirt. I said remove it. The idea was to strip me, beat me, embarrass me and send me out naked. I told them that I had nothing underneath. Now it shows. Your shoes. Remove it. Now your pants. Your trousers. Remove it. What is it, man? Remove it. I looked at the people who sat around me. I didn't even see a single kind face. They looked like hungry wolves. He said he would beat me to death and it seemed quite possible. The memories are still fresh in my mind. Stop it. Who are you? I will pay the money. You will pay the bill. How much is the bill? It's 372. Here you go. Put on your clothes. That was so kind of you. I didn't expect anyone to help me out. What's your name? I told him my name and asked him his. He said he did not have a name. Thank you for helping me out. Look. You must go away without turning around. If anyone ask you, you have seen me. You must say no. Which one is yours? Pick it up. I opened it. My money was there intact. 
I put it in my pocket and I walked away not knowing how to react.